I record this entire video with this headset, but it almost sounded like I was getting too far away from the transceiver. I went and reached out to Razer about this issue. Through talking to them, they had me try it on a different phone. Did not have no issues at all on the second phone. So we're chalking it up. It's something on my phone. I'm still working with them to see what it was. I have the Note 20 Ultra. So as soon as I figure out what that was and if there's a way to fix it, I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna pin a uh, comment to this video underneath, so go check that out. With that being said, enjoy the video, let's get into it. In today's video, I'm telling you if the Barracuda X by Razer is actually worth the $100 or not, coming up right now. What's going on YouTube? This is your first time here. My name is James and I am Pew's Review. I do all kind of gaming reviews and stuff. So if you like content like this, controller reviews and stuff, and like looking at me looking weird in a headset sometimes because I do it just for kicks and giggles, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here and make sure you like the video because that tells me you like the content I'm putting out. All right guys, so let's talk about some of the pros and features of this thing. Before we could do that, we have to talk about what's in the box itself, what comes with this headset for $100. Of course, it's the headset itself. It's a great design. It's got plush earphones. It's got a great detachable mic and it has the features on the side of it, which is the mute button and the power button and your volume button. This also comes with a USB transceiver. What else do you get in the box? Well, you get the 3.5 millimeter jack cable that comes with it. You get the USB-C female to the USB male and you also get the USB-C male to the USB male as well. These cables are actually important because they make it to where you can play and use these for different things. Let's talk about compatibility for a second, guys. So the first thing I hook up to is your Android device. If you're using a Android phone that has USB-C port on it, you can plug it right up to that and record right through that, or you can listen to music right through that. You can talk with your phone through it, all that good stuff. You can also hook it up to your PC if you have a USB-C on there. If you don't, you can use the cable that comes with it for the USB male, uh, female to USB male, and you can just plug it into one of your USB spots. And it also is compatible with the PlayStation for the same thing, and Nintendo Switch, docked or undocked. You can plug up the USB-C straight to the tablet itself, or if you have it docked, you can plug up the USB again with the USB female and you'll still be able to hear the game while it's docked playing through the TV. So those are actually really, really good things to be able to do with one headset. There's so many things you can do with this headset for compatibility wise. So that right off the rip is a really, really, really good feature on this. Thing. And of course, anything with a 3.5 millimeter jack on it is compatible with too. So yes, it is compatible with Xbox, not wirelessly, but you can use the cable to plug up from the headset to the controller and you get to hear the game through it, which is amazing. So let's talk about mic quality with this thing. Does the mic sound good? I don't know. You tell me because that's what I've been using this entire time for my mic. That's why I have the headset on looking ridiculous is because I wanted to test the mic out for you. And I figure what better way to do that than to test it out in the video the entire video so if you hear any kind of crackle and popping that's because it's the the mic and it must not be that good or if you're not hearing it it's, and you i sound perfect that's great if i do any kind of changes to the audio i'm going to put a comment right now on the video so you can see what i actually did if i turned the audio up turned it down any of that good stuff also let's see how this thing sounds on the pc i was doing a twitch stream and i was using the headset doing some fantasy football drafting so let's check that out right now he is who his quarterback is going to be honestly uh mm -hmm. if it's Taysom hill then i have more faith in camara because i feel like he will roll out dump it to camara a lot more than like a winston will everybody knows what winston is going to do he's going to roll out scramble for 15 seconds and throw an interception so again i'll ask you how does it sound if it sounds good great if it doesn't well we're gonna find out together because i'm recording the video with it comfort wise let me tell you guys this thing is amazing this is probably quite literally the comfortable most comfortable headset i've wore now i've used a bunch of different headsets not super expensive headsets but all within the hundred dollar range from the turtle beach stealth 600s to the uh, 
the Recon 200s to other different headsets for about 60 bucks and stuff. And these do not pinch my head. And as you can tell, I have a big head. So they're not squeezing my head real tight. And the plush earmuffs sit on there where I hardly even notice I have a headset. I know there's something there, but it's not really bogging my head down and pinching it. I quite literally can wear this thing for hours, I feel like. And I can't say that for a lot of headsets. The Stealth 600s I use, I notice after about 30 to 45 minutes, I have to raise the ear, wipe my ear out with sweat and stuff. Not to say these don't get sweaty and stuff, but these quite literally are the most comfortable, most best comfortable headsets I've ever, ever wore, hands down. All right guys, so another thing this thing has is 7.1 surround sound. Now, this is only used for PC. You can only use this through PC and it doesn't come stock. It's kind of a bummer. You actually have to go register the headset through Razer and then they send you an email with a activation code and then you have to download the 7.1 program and then run it, put the activation code in and all that and then you get it. So your desk come with it, it only works on PC. Uh, kind of a bummer if you ask me, I wish it was something they just installed in the drivers of the headset itself, but nevertheless, you still get 7.1 surround sound on th or through the PC. The last pro I wanna talk about is the warranty on these things. This thing comes with a two year warranty. That's right guys, if you buy these things off Amazon or go through an app like Best Buy or anything like that, this thing has a two year warranty. All you gotta do is be able to prove that you bought it. And quite literally, if this thing messes up a year and 11 months, like the mic, which will probably just send you a replacement or the headset itself, they'll just replace it for you for free. Now you'll probably have to jump through hoops and stuff like you do with everything. But for a two year warranty, man, you can't really ask for much better than that. That's a company that's putting a lot of pride in their product saying, hey, look, we're gonna give you a two year warranty because we don't believe a lot of these are gonna be coming back. Let's talk about the cons on this thing. There are some cons. They're not a whole lot. Uh, a lot of them are cosmetic to tell you the truth, but there are some cons to say the least. The first con I wanna talk about is the ugly transceiver that it comes with. It's long, it's bulky, and it's not long enough USB-C wise to plug up into your phone if you have a phone case. That's right guys. So I have to actually take my phone case off if I wanna use this with my phone. I don't know if that's the case for every single phone case, but with mine it is. Is. I will show you my phone case right now. So the length of this thing. So that is my phone case and I have to take it off just to get the toggle to work with it. So that's a con. The other con is for the USB-C using on my PC, it takes away a USB port because of the length of it. It's long, it's bulky. And it's just, I, I, I lose a USB link. What I really wish they would have done is made it into like a USB plug, USB-C like this, to where it takes up just a USB slot and I still have all my USB ports open for me to use because anybody that games or uses a lot of USB ports understand that really they're all important. So I need every single one I can get. So it is a little bit of a headache to have to lose a port just to use the headset on my PC. Now, when I was testing this out on Xbox, I had to use the 3.5 millimeter jack. I will say it did seem like the sound quality was a little lower than when it was with the toggle itself being plugged up to something. I don't know if there's just, it's not getting a lot of power. I don't know how that works. I just noticed I had it all the way turned up on the headset playing Apex. That is something to take consideration. Not that I couldn't hear, not that it sounded bad. It was just a quality, the, the low, it was just a little low for sound quality itself altogether. And the last con or not really a con, just something I wish they would have put on this headset is there was no presets for EQs, not one. So whatever the sound of this headset is, is the way it's gonna be for you. Now, the sound itself, it sounds great. I've listened to music on it. I've done phone calls on it. I've played games on it. It sounds good, don't get me wrong, but I really wish I could have had this, like, you know, a few presets were like a bass boost or a treble and bass boost or a mic boost or superhuman hearing mode even, but I didn't get none of those with this. So that was just a little bit of a disappointment. But hey, if you're playing on Xbox, you could always use the Turtle Beach controller. I did recon and you'll have all those presets on there that'll boost your headset up and make it louder. But of course you have to play with the 3.5 millimeter cable 
to do it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll post a video right here about it. I just did it, brand new controller. It's actually a really good controller for the price. Go check it out. So with the cons I just mentioned, turn me away from this headset. Absolutely not. I can get over the toggle switch being awkwardly big or, you know, taking up an extra USB spot on my computer. I can get over the sound quality when it comes to a 3.5 millimeter jack because I'm not really using it for that anyways. I still do use it and I think I might keep using it because of the comfort. But for the price and with all the things you can do with this, I'm letting you know right now that I use this while I'm streaming on Twitch for like fantasy football stuff i use it while i'm editing all my videos so for 100 bucks is it worth a buy should you buy this headset for me personally i'm saying yes it's quite literally my favorite headset right now with that being said i'm gonna post a link in the description it is of course affiliated don't worry it's not gonna cost you any more money they didn't pay me to do this this is my quite literally my honest review on this i bought this myself and kept it because i liked it that much with all that being said guys if you enjoyed this video hit the like button share it even huh sharing means karen also i'm gonna post a video right here if you want to check it out make sure you comment below every comment gets a like because i like you and as always be safe till next time later